All right, y'all. Thanks for coming back to the Business 2.0. Uh, today's show, I got my man Fusion. Uh, obviously, you know, he's going to run down his bio, but my man has been busy doing his thing independently for a minute now. He got a catalog like, you know, longer than my arm. So um, <laughs> yeah, I, I don't want to do a lot of talking. You know what I mean? I want to be rapping for the town, you know, KK Zoo. So I just want to put him on, bro. Just kind of um, fill the people in on, you know, your background a little bit. Uh, my name is Fusion, man. That's my artist name. Uh, mm -hmm. I ain't going to throw my whole govy out there, but right. if you know Fusion, you can find me on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Um. My background, I've been in this rap thing for, you know, 20 plus years. Mm -hmm. um, I, I basically, you know, poured my all into it. Um, mm -hmm. Unfortunately, I didn't get a record deal like I had planned to when I was 16, but that's mm -hmm. neither here or there now. Um, mm -hmm. I still got the work, I still got the music, and I still got the knowledge. No doubt, no doubt. You got the receipts, you know? <laughs> that's all that really counts. Yes, sir. Uh, you know, coming up, man, I like to ask this question a lot. The 16 year olds and the 17 year olds out there think they're going to cop a deal real quick. Can you kind of fill them in on what's behind this? Because I, I, you know, being in the game so long and being so prolific, you know this man, he, you know, it's stumbling blocks along the way, you know? So what would you tell that 16 to 17 so, year old cat? So if I'm talking to the 16 year old, 17 year old artist, mm -hmm. um, obviously today's music landscape is a bit different, yeah. but the game is still the same. You still have to be prepared Mm -hmm. and be ready for your opportunity. As long as you're working and mm -hmm. you do your thing, you're going to get an opportunity. You just got to be ready for it. And mm -hmm. I got a few stories where I wasn't ready. <laughs> yeah, and that, I want, that's a perfect segue, bro, because I want to hear that. Like, So tell me some mistakes you probably made and you felt like you made in the game. Okay. Uh, first of all, it's, it's always good to work in a team, mm -hmm. but you got to have a selfish streak about yourself mm -hmm. if you want to continue. Now, if your whole team is like-minded like that, then y'all will go forward. But some of the mistakes I made, man, we was we was younger, and this is younger, younger. I don't want to date myself, but this yeah. is right when Eminem was just getting started. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That take us, we okay. pretty much know that era, yeah. Yeah, so they had a show at the Van Andel Arena. Um, yeah. Shout out to Van Andel Arena. Uh, we went up there with this group. We had a group called On The Grind. Shout out to KB and Jamie and all those guys. Yep, uh, Aiden Genesis, Jermaine Brown, uh, Armand Randall, and I'm, I'm probably forgetting some names, but we all had a group. We go up to Grand Rapids to perform, open up for these guys. Eminem, mm -hmm. Method Man, Red Man. I think R. Mm -hmm. Kelly was there. Uh, it was a few more big artists there. Mm -hmm. um, we got there. We did mic check. We, we met the guys, handshakes and everything. The mm -hmm. only thing that we did, did not have, Mm. Is anything we didn't have material, t shirts, music, of uh -huh. course, websites wasn't popping off, but we didn't have no business cards, mm -hmm. none of that. Um, if I if I'm serving myself correct, um, at the time, uh, what's the trip, uh, the magazine called Double XL, they mm -hmm. were just getting started as well, mm -hmm. and uh, they wanted some, they wanted some information from us, and we just didn't have, we just was not prepared for yeah. that opportunity, yeah. um. More opportunities came later, and we were a bit more prepared. But by then, you know, yeah, it's a, it's a here today, going tomorrow it thing. Is. It so really is. You got to be prepared. Yeah, man. You know, uh, it's funny you bring that up because you know, obviously, I had a couple of groups I was down with, you know, back in down that time period. And just speaking from experience, bro, it's like uh, I think a lot of times what groups lack is that organization, like to have somebody like pull everything together who would have been on hand with the business card, who would have had the, the crispy merch right there on, on deck. Something mm -hmm. like it, you know, that, that you know, having a form uh, material with your car right there, your name right there on the CD and your number, your connect. And, uh, you know, don't, don't get it twisted. I've been in situations where mistakes have been made and, you know, it, it's, it's, it's a hurtful thing because then you look back at it like, well, I took this step right here. Who knows? I'll be here, yeah. Yeah, you know, so, so just just a word going forward to the to the younger cats and maybe some older cats who who's still in the game who have that dream. Mm -hmm. You got to be prepared. You got to have all your ducks in a row. Right. Um, right. I'm still making music, but, you know, I've moved on to the the next stage of this artistry. And that's kind of developing artists. Mm -hmm. um, I write songs for singers and stuff like that. Also, mm -hmm. you can't see it all the way, but uh, I got a re recording studio here. Mm -hmm. um that i do my thing with uh pre pre-development thing 
mm -hmm. um, that people can come in and practice and, and get their craft, hone their craft there. So that's where I'm at now with it. Yeah, man, I'm loving that, man. I'm loving that. Uh, you know, I do a similar thing myself. So it, it's really, I think, uh, it's really something that you feel like you you kind of paying it forward. And you feel like uh, uh, almost blessed to be able to do that. You feel me? Because yes, that wealth, of, you can't re, you can't replace that wealth of experience and that knowledge. And there's some cats out here that you know they grow up in the, they're doing the freestyle side, but some cats can't even write a song. Don't even know how to write a chorus. So, don't know the format of a song. Don't know enough. what the chorus is. Don't know what the bridge is. Right. Hook, any of that. So that that's where I'm at now. Trying to at least get the people who want that. I can get them ready for that. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. So any, hold on, Jay, before you just shout out to y'all era too, man. Oh, you, yeah. <laughs> Rush, you know, Madhouse inmates, all all those cats, man, all y'all. Yeah, yeah. I caught watching y'all, so yeah, I appreciate that. <laughs> I appreciate yeah. that, and it's a whole lot of cats we leaving out, but like yeah, respect, the, names, but... respect to all them cats, man. Respect to all of, them. and the cats are still out here doing it, like myself, you know, because. It's one of those type things like this is not DNA, man. This is this is what we do. This is in our blood. So yes, sir. Yeah, disrespect. And I, I kind of feel like even the cats who were before me, I always respect when I'm telling stories. I always tell people like, look, these are the cats right here who influenced me back on the school bus, you know, and 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 and, and that kind of <laughs> thing. Cause I don't feel like cats really pay it forward. So the cats that's on the scene right now, they think, oh, well, we created this scene. Y'all ain't create this scene. Yes, sir. This scene, man. You it's know. been it's been going on, and yeah. uh, we want to keep it going on too. You know, yeah, no doubt. Music, yeah. music I found was an outlet to as much as street talk and all that that goes with it. Mm -hmm. I found that as a way to keep me out of the streets, out of trouble, so to speak. So yeah, I'm definitely yeah. trying to pay that forward. No doubt, no doubt. Yeah. So I want to know, man, um, <clears throat> what have you ever had? Uh, like, so we talked about some of the mistakes or whatever. You know, talk about some of the things that you feel like uh, behind the business, you know, like the publishing and all that. These cats that are probably really, really not up on like, uh, you know, certain things you got to have your ducks in a row. So I always say, like, the, the music is a small part of the business overall. So, you know, maybe it's something that you can a gem or something you can drop on these cats as far as having a business together, too, though. You know? OK, so the, the music part it, for any of y'all who listening. Yeah. Old, young to old. The music part, that's the easy part. Mm. Y'all can do that in y'all sleep. Yeah. It's about building relationships and mm. getting that paperwork in order. LLC, right. um, all your copyrights, mm. um, you know, all of, all of that stuff that comes along with it. That's yeah. the work you have to put in. And truth be told, that's where I failed a little bit. You know, mm -hmm. I'm up on it now. That way I can teach somebody now, but... Mm -hmm. Uh, in that era, in that time, I wasn't taught that. I wasn't told that. Mm -hmm. I didn't even know that. So, you Those know. The secrets of the game that a lot of people don't pass down, right? Yes, yes. Yeah. Gotta get fine. your LLCs and yeah. copyrights and all that all that good stuff. Yeah. I talked to some young... That's how you get paid. That's how you get paid, right. Because you know, <laughs> with our artists, nowadays, hold on, hold on. Like, nowadays, like, it's almost shifted because people don't want to buy music no more. You remember... When, when you got started and when I was, you know, out there getting started, people would buy it. They, they, they spin with you. You know, they buy them out the trunk. They buy your CD yep. from the trunk. They go download your joints for 99 cents. But then LimeWire and all these other sites blew up. So now people feel like, we ain't paying for music. We ain't paying yep. for music. So now the artists, you know, that's how we make a living now. Like you said, having our, our business in order, but also doing shows and also merch. I mean, pretty much that's what a game is right now. Because nobody yep. want to. You know, your, your, your trunk is your computer now. There you you go. Exactly. Your, trunk, your trunk is your computer now. Exactly. So you, you gotta you gotta fill your trunk up with the material. You yeah. know exactly. You exactly. No doubt, no doubt. So um, you know, just to be clear, man. Like I said, you've been obviously you told us you've been rocking for a while. Um, are you dropping something here soon, or what, what you thinking okay. about doing? So here we are with where we're in twenty twenty one. Yeah, I'm I'm still dropping stuff. Um, I have actually I got a music some music playing in the background. You can't really hear it, but um shout out to Mr. Mag, uh Knights of Mayhem, th that guy. Uh we have a CD together, and then my man Oliver OG's Gavan, we mm -hmm. have a, a 16 joint CD together. Um obviously people not really buying CDs anymore, so I will have that up for free. Uh oh, we froze, baby. Froze up, man. 
Oh, there we go. You, you, you froze up for a minute. You back. You back. Okay. Um, like I said, I will. I will obviously have uh my man Mag. Shout out to Mag. We got to see Mag Gillen. We got a CD together. It's called Born to Die. Fifteen banging tracks. And then me and my man OGs Oliver Givan. We got a CD out called Um My City. Another fifteen tracks. Mm -hmm. um, shout out to Top Flight Tay, the hardest working yes, sir. Yes, sir, in show, my man. show business. Mm -hmm. um, he does a lot of the videos. He does all of the videos. Mm -hmm. um, he's also my label mate mm -hmm. as far as Top Flight Entertainment is concerned. Yeah. Um, shout out to my man Giovanni Cooper. He's still over here. He he also writes, okay. um, but he's he's a shy type. So he don't really like the camera, but mm -hmm. behind the scenes, Giovanni does a lot of writing and consulting. Um, who else? Who else? Um, I got a, I got a few artists that I'll be bringing out later on this year as well. Okay, okay, yeah. Shout out to Tay Band, uh, all them cats, but especially Tay. Like me and me and Tay, uh, we go back. Like hey, we go, God, you already know. We hey, go man. back quite a few. Yeah, quite a few bullets, man. Um, no, that's real dope, man. I, I really like the mentoring angle because again, like nobody really taught a lot of us. So it, it you know, to be able to teach these cats the right way to go, because what 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 we naturally wanted to do was we record that demo, we got it mixed down, we want to shoot it out to the streets. But you know, you gotta you you know, that's playing the game stop backwards though. You know, yeah. playing the game backwards. I have that paperwork in order, fellas <laughs> and ladies. And ladies, no doubt. No doubt, and ladies. Um, so tell me some of your influences, man. I, I just want to know because I, I, I like again. I love you know. I'm all, I'm a fan of anybody I bring on. I'm a fan of the music, right? But I want to know who your influ influences are. Okay, so some of my musical influences are they include, uh, and I may be dating myself. Um, I, I name a few recent artists that I mess with, but mm -hmm. I'm gonna take it back first. I like uh, Scarface, yeah. Ice Cube. Um, Nas was a big influence. Mm -hmm. um, Tupac and Biggie, they can, you, you don't have to mention them. You don't have to mention them, Tupac and Biggie, but they were part of the influence. Mm -hmm. um, the Dayton family from the Midwest. Yeah, shout out um, to Breed and them. Yeah, FBI, that's my, yeah. that's my joint right there. Um, yeah, yeah. So some of these new cats that I, that I messed with, who, who was inspiring, uh, R.I.P. to Nipsey, mm -hmm. uh, DMX, Mm -hmm. Uh, and but he was an old era. Uh, but Nipsey, yeah. I, I like Roddy Rich. Um, mm -hmm. I recently just got turned on to uh that new Moray. He he got a nice sound. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. He got a nice. Who sound. else? Who else? Uh, Lil Dirk. I mess with mm -hmm. Lil Dirk. Okay. Um, and, and a few more artists that my kids play. You know, it's their era of music, so they they think all my stuff is old school. <laughs> <laughs> they don't realize who they who they listen to got influenced by somebody. Yes, they got yes. influenced by you know. And, and I think it's you know it's it's again it's always the game is 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 it comes around right. So people always mm -hmm. think, oh well, I invented this now, nah, bro. You didn't really invent anything like. We didn't invent anything. It's kind of just you 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 continue as, as the as the game goes on and people who dedicated to it, they just refine, you know, refine the process. You know what I mean? So, but let, let me let me ask you this though. This is what I want to know. Okay. You put the local artists, you know what I mean? Shout out to the local artists in the in in in, in the town and in, in surrounding areas in Michigan. Who who locally influenced you? Like who, who were your local influences? Um I won't say anybody local influenced me as far as what I do, but there they have there's our local artists that have been inspiring. Inspiring, okay, okay. okay. Yeah. And so I want to I want to send a shout out to uh, and if I miss anybody, y'all please don't 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 do that. Just, you know, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm sorry, bro. Anybody. I might have said it. I might have said a chat. I might have said chat for your side. <laughs> okay, so um. First person I want to uh, bring up is, uh, and these are groups or or single artists, right? Yeah. So uh, Ed Genesis, he's he's a uh, he's an inspiration. Shout out, uh, to yeah. Blaine, Blaine and his crew. Mm -hmm. Um. 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 I'd be remiss not to say JKT Germ. He around here doing his thing. Mm -hmm. Shout out to uh, Money Boy Lafleur. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, uh. And it's it's man, it's so countless, you know, right? It's so, it's so I'm just trying to think right off the top of my head. Uh, yeah. Shout out to uh, Don G. He, he does he does his music. Uh, I just wish he would do it a lot more. But Don G is a, a good artist. Mm -hmm. uh, 
Um, like I said, I gave shots out to Mag and OGs earlier. Mm -hmm. um, I got a new artist coming out. His name is Sam Dave. Wait till y'all get, get a load of him. Sam, Sam Dave. Dave. Okay. Um, okay. I got another. He's not my artist, but he's another inspirational. Was uh LP, Paul Liggins. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you ever heard him sing, but he, he buttery. I heard. No, I don't think I've ever heard him. He, he, he buttery yeah. smooth with it. P is buttery mm -hmm. smooth with it. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, let me see. 80s babies. Uh uh damn it. I, I just I can't up. name them all, but Yo, you right put, off the top of my head. You put me up on a lot of names because you know I since I since I'm where I'm at right now, out in the shy, you know, uh, a lot of the local cats, man, like a lot of the names don't resonate. I mean, of course, the, a lot of the, the names, some of the names that you named at first resonate, obviously, but, you know, mm -hmm. some of the cats, I got to get back up on my, you know, my K-Zoo uh, artist, man, because, mm -hmm. you know, and I really hate how they kill the hip-hop scene. It's still bubbling underneath the surface, but, like, as far as being able to do shows and... No, they killed it. it. They killed but it, man. If, if we if we call it a spade a spade, we killed it. Sometimes we don't know how to act when we get the venues, yeah, and, that, and that's another thing that this younger generation, y'all younger generation got to know this stuff is for y'all. Don't yeah. mess it up. Right. Don't right. mess it up. Right. Keep, right. Your content on. Keep your drama to Facebook if you got any. Um, yeah. I try to smile every day and make somebody laugh, man. That's how my day go. Yeah. Yeah. For sure, man. That's important. I think we just got to, you know, we just all have to. And, and I don't I don't really the young artists. I connect with them, too. I'm connected with some young artists, man, that I do my thing with. But. Like you said, we just got to squash all that because, again, you know, we had a bubbling scene at one time uh, locally. Mm -hmm. You know, we had a bubbling scene on Kalamazoo, man, and it just kind of just died. You had a lot of, I think right now, I think maybe, maybe Grand Rapids still throw some things and, you know, uh, obviously. Yeah, it, was, beat, but, it was a time, J.E., and I know you know, yeah. man, we used to have a show every Friday if we wanted to around yeah. here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And the artist was coming here. You know, Too Short came here a few times. Yeah. Ice Cube been here. Yeah. Uh, DMX been through here. Yeah. Uh, the Wu, the, I think Wu-Tang came through there, right? Wu-Tang Wu Wu came through here. Like, yeah. Yeah. this wasn't like, it's a stale place as far as big city of lore, but the artists came down here, man, got shown mad love, man. We showed them mad love. Yeah, locally, man. I remember going to a lot of shows and like being a part of a lot of shows like Club Soda, The Warehouse, like, any spot you can think. Those are hot, hot shows, right? Those are hot shows back the then. The Room. Yeah, sir. The Lafayette. Yeah, Twister them been through here. Him and his crew. The State Multiple Theater. Times. The State Theater used to be put on a lot. Put on a lot. I remember them being like the really the last spot where Cash was coming to. And again, I might I might be wrong off of that, but State the State Theater was a lot was a popping spot. And I've been fortunate enough to perform there, but it's it, it's one of them things where. If you don't have a scene, you don't have a radio station, you know what I mean? It it, it, it kind of kills off the, the vibe. Now, speaking of radio station, okay. um, and we was talking about getting getting music rights and stuff together. I yeah. recently got an LLC and I'm I'm gonna be starting a music radio station for local hip hop and R and B. So y'all okay. gonna be looking for that coming down the pike yeah. here okay. the next year. Okay. So. what do you call it? You got a name for it? Just the music station, LLC. Okay. okay. And you and know, are you how what what kind of radius you looking at with that? Is this an online radio, right? Um, it's gonna be more, you see how we're talking, it's mm -hmm. gonna be more of an interview type, okay. new artist, you introduce yourself, mm -hmm. and then I'll, I'll I'll get something going via the oh, internet okay. with the music yeah, so I can no get stream. No doubt. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Now it's definitely something to look out for from fusion, man. Um, so tell me, tell me where we can find some music at though of yours right now that's out there. Okay, uh, one more thing before we go to that. Um, yeah. We we are uh, we are currently and have been currently in uh, movie production. Top Flight okay. Films presents um, Table for Three, um, and there was another one. We didn't really have a name to it, but uh, probably My City is more recently. Everything's being converged and moved over. So once again, shout out to Top Flight. Mm -hmm. Films, y'all be on the lookout for that. Um, yeah. where y'all can find some of my music is uh, Top Flight Films, mm -hmm. T O P F L Y T E F I L M Z. That's at YouTube. Um, those are some videos. Okay. Some places where you can find the music at will be uh, SoundCloud, 
Mm -hmm. right? Fusion slash a wall. Okay, and we're gonna um, and, and we're gonna get the link. You know, we're gonna get the links up for you too. You know, uh, so, for sure. that, yeah, for sure. Uh, so uh, you know, we we talk about obviously we're talking about your career, man. I just wanted to know. So you feel like you're putting out music. You, you you're mentoring right now. Um, you got the film company. Had I want to talk about real quick how you diversify your portfolio because that's you're a prime example of that, right? Because I always talk. You know, I'm talking to artists now. They're like, yeah, you know, I'm doing a music thing, but I'm getting into film. Like when I talked to Mike Mish, you know, a little while ago. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So I love but, that man. And kind of talk to artists how they can how they can make that transition because you can't be in the light forever. You can't shine. You, it's just like an athlete. You know, you're not gonna be doing music forever, so you got to be able to diversify that. You know what I mean? Uh, the first thing about diversifying yourself as an artist, you gotta you gotta learn to build relationships. You kind of gotta be a, mm -hmm. a, a extrovert, if you will, to some degree, mm -hmm. to you know start developing those relationships with people. You know, because I can go do a music, I can go do music with the younger crowd now because I have a relationship with them. Mm -hmm. I can do music with the older crowd because. I have a relationship with them. I can go jump in somebody's movie because I have a relationship with them. So that's number one. Mm -hmm. Number two, you know, quite frankly, you got to be good at what you do. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? And I hate to say it that everybody can't rap. Everybody don't know how to put it together. Everybody don't sound right. Now, not to discourage anybody because your sound could be the sound for somebody. I'm right. just saying on the overall level, you got to be good enough and confidence in yourself to, to do what you do, to diversify yourself. You gotta be willing to change. You gotta be willing to pass the proverbial torch. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. Man, I can't co-sign that enough because this is all about relationships, right? Mm -hmm. And sometimes the most talented people that, most people you think is most ta talented, they don't they don't get on because they don't have those relationships or they, they don't take the time or they, they burn some bridges or they don't take the time to cultivate that. I can't stress that enough. And that goes along with, like you said, the business and the relationship being the majority of what we do. You know, music is very, a small part, it's real easy. Um, and But it's just building those and maintaining those relationships. So I always say, bring value. You know, you can never, in any situation where you have a relationship, you gotta bring value to the, to the table. Like you yes, can't, sir. there's so many people that's asking to get on, asking for, favors and asking to be put in a video or whatever, but what are you bringing to the table? I always, that's my number one thing, bring value. Cause people, they appreciate that. And, and one more thing I want to say, people don't necessarily remember your accomplishments, but they do remember how you make them feel. You did. They remember that and they, and they yeah. won't forget it. Yeah. And before we, before we proceed, I just want to uh, give a shout out to Kalamazoo. I, I love all my Kalamazoo people, all my Kalamazoo artists. Um, like I said, if I forgot your name or didn't bring it up, it wasn't on purpose. Right. There's a lot of cats out there that I still want to work with. So, you know, let, let's let's make that happen, man. I'm trying to put on for the zoo and, and just try to make this one of them environments to where everybody can flourish and, and, and do their thing. I think we always talk about, uh, <laughs> it's funny you say that because We've been talking about and the the guys that I'm building with, like we talk about for years. How cast is, uh, we we need to come together. We need to do this. And I know you heard it too, like all, all of, the time, all the time. And then what what happened? Like two weeks later, everybody forget about that. They you know they're not even trying to put the resources together. They just out there doing for self right? the all the time, all the time, and all the time. And I, I just you know I, I kind of feel like that contributes to a lot of cats not achieving their goals too. You Once know. again, though, Jay, that go back to that relationship. What mm -hmm. kind of relationship do you have with those people or person? You know, right, right, right. if you want to take the time to water that and, and make it grow, y'all can make it happen. But you, you know, you at shows and you get, oh man, we need a man. We should have been hooked though. We we got <laughs> we should have been. Oh, man, yeah, you right. know, you go hear that, and then you know, next two weeks, you know, they sneak this and you on Facebook or something. Yeah, so something like you, that, you right? Gotta, Keep keep your energy positive. That's around you. Surround yourselves with with people who who are who are thinking like you. Right. It's that crab in the bucket. That it's that crabs in the bucket mentality. That's just call it for what is spade is spade. And it's tough. It's tough, but you only the strong survive. That's why I'm still here. Yeah, that's for sure. That's for sure. Yeah, man. Um, I, yeah, I, I feel like we covered quite a bit of ground, bro. Um, <laughs> I really do. Like we, we covered quite a bit of ground, man. And, uh, 
you know, I, I'm really interested in your journey because, you know, I always, we always knew each other. Um, we always knew each other, rock with each other, but I really didn't have your, your story, man. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and we ain't got no music together. That's one of them things. Hey, man, we got a link, and we just never, <laughs> we never did. Sorry, but look, but look, relationship stuff, yeah. you know, you you here, I'm here, so it's a little bit yeah, different. Yeah. But you know, we're gonna make... Shout out to my, uh, I got a couple producers out there. Uh, yeah, go ahead. I, and I know you know one of them. Mike is Nelson. Uh... I heard of that cat. No. Okay, I know you heard of it. <laughs> my man, a good my producers, my man Micah, he he lays it down. He he doing most of the score for the movie that we got going, so that's gonna be huge. Oh, no doubt, and no doubt. My man, artist turned producer, uh, Dante Dante Panky. He's yeah. doing this thing on the beach too. So yeah, y'all yeah. make sure y'all look him up on Facebook as well. No question, man. Shout out to Nano, Micah Nelson. Uh, we got a little something in store too, but I'm. I, he told me to be quiet about it, so I got to. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man, that's real dope. We doing. See, that's that's the evolution of uh, cats, man. Like, you know, we started out just just doing the music thing, and we still dedicated to it. But now you can, like you said, we got cats doing scores for movies, acting. Like you said, you can jump in a movie anytime you want. You can co-write. It's a lot of ways in this business to use it as like a, a, a springboard to do something else. And that's what I really talk about now. Yes, use it sir. as a springboard to do so. Don't get, don't never let yourself get pigeonholed. Use it as a springboard to, to jump off into something else, man. And that's what this, that's what the freedom, the internet allows us to do now. You feel me? So, yeah. But uh, before we, we help head out of here, man, anything, any other jewels you want to drop, bro? Because I know that, like I said, it's, it's yeah. yeah. Believe, believe it, believe in yourself. Yeah. Number one, believe in your talent. Number two, and do that. You know what I'm saying? Just do that. I, and I, I don't know too much of the young lingo, but when they what they say is it's up there, it's stuck there. It's when it gets to make a stick. Yeah, <laughs> okay. yeah. <laughs> make a stick when you get there. No question, no question, man. Nothing but positive energy, man. So uh like I said, we are gonna definitely link up here, down. And this ain't just no talk, y'all. I'm a whole. No, we ain't talking now. We just talking. We, it's documented. It's documented. It's already documented. So anybody who see this from the town, they gonna already know. You know yes, what I'm sir. saying? That we linking up, man. But I, I appreciate you coming through, bro. I mean, really making the time. Um, like I said, I wanted you on the show because I felt like. I not only did I, I want to hear your story, but I want everybody else to hear it. And also the jewels that you're dropping, man. I just feel like it's it's not a lot of artists out there with that positive energy and yes, and, 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 and you know, um that's got a catalog and you got a catalog. You feel me? And and I plan on letting y'all hear it. So yeah, um, when he give y'all the links, man, y'all make sure y'all go listen, share it. Um yeah, sure, if no nothing doubt. else, if if nothing else, just just give it a just give it a play. Let me yes, hear. Sir. Yeah, yeah. I'm telling y'all, my man. He doing his thing, and, and shout out to Top Flight, man. That's that's my man's. Both of y'all, my guys, man. And like I said, I just feel honored that you know I would even be that cats would even say, hey, you know, I, I consider you somebody I listen to. You know what I mean? And yep. talk with. You know what I'm saying? Thank you for having me, man. You already know, man. Yo, this has been the business 2.0. I appreciate y'all following through next the time. Business. Get that Jr. baby. All right. <laughs> All right, then, y'all. Yes, sir. Yeah, hey, I'm Jay. Thanks for checking out that last video. And also, we hope you're enjoying the site. To join the CTMG family, head over to charlesandtrumble.com. Also, you can check us out at charlesandtrumble.bandcamp.com. That's charlesandtrumble.bandcamp.com. Over there, you find the latest info and updates on artists, bios, and also purchase the new drip. We appreciate you guys checking us out. We'll see you next time. Thanks.